Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to take a look at cloud registration, on-prem registration, and hybrid registration with Edge for Devices, and I'm going to compare the features across those three different configurations. We're also going to take a look at what endpoints are supported and a couple other, you know, odds and ends as well, how this service works. So uh, with that being said, let's dive into it. We'll check out the endpoints first. So endpoints that support this configuration, uh, at least to some capacity, are pretty much anything that is Cisco supported today. This includes DX endpoints, the, the Desk Pro, uh, MX2 and 300G2s, the Room 55, uh, the larger dual screen units, both the MX series and the Room series, uh, as well as the Room kits and the uh, even the older SX10, SX20 to some extent. And I will call out a couple differences where the older units can't do particular things uh, a little bit later on. And that's actually true of pretty much across the board, cloud registered or prem registered. From a connectivity perspective, the way that these services work, obviously from a cloud perspective, all the communications goes through the cloud. From a premise perspective, all the communications goes through uh, your infrastructure on-prem. The way that hybrid works is you have your premise registered uh, device, your media flows locally, you use your local dial plan and that type of thing, but the cloud signaling, the API services, if you will, actually reach out to the cloud. So you get the uh, best of both worlds, if you will, those cloud features as well as the, the tight control of an on-prem dial plan. All right, so what features are supported where? Uh, I have on the left, on-prem, on the right, cloud, in the middle, hybrid. So first of all, there is control hub inventory for both hybrid and cloud registered. Obviously, that's where we do most of our administration from. Uh, on-prem, you're going to have to rely on CUCM or TMS uh, or both to do that inventorying. Likewise, from a configuration management perspective, you can do that from CUCM or TMS on-prem, control hub, uh, is going to be the place to manage that from hybrid or cloud enabled perspective. One of my favorite features is one button to push. On premise, you have to work with TMS XE to get it hooked into your exchange environment. In the cloud or in a hybrid, you know, edge for devices scenario, you can actually get that through the cloud. So if you're an Office 365 user, you can do all of your calendaring in the cloud exclusively using the cold control hub and uh, Office 365, for instance. Now, another feature that maybe you're not even that familiar with is the ability to use WebRTC to connect to a Microsoft Teams meeting. On premise, you cannot do that today. On the Edge for Devices configuration, uh, you can, as well as in the cloud. So this actually has does have a caveat to it. It has to be a device that supports the web engine. So that is going to be your Desk Pro, your board series uh, endpoints, your WebEx boards, as well as the room series, whether they be all in one uh, or like a kit type of uh, device. That same caveat does apply as well to the next one, which is WebEx Assistant. Both hybrid and cloud can do WebEx Assistant, on premise cannot. This is actually a cloud exclusive feature, so you do need to be connected to the cloud in one way, shape, or form for this functionality to work. Similarly, facial recognition is kind of the same thing. It's a cloud feature, but both hybrid and cloud will do it. Again, on-premise won't, although it is worth mentioning that you can still pull uh, just facial detection, which just gives you people count and that type of thing. You can still pull that from on-prem endpoints. You're just not gonna get the, uh, you know, the box that says the person's name more specifically. On-prem and hybrid will do one-way whiteboarding. Now, cloud sets that apart uh, by doing two-way whiteboarding. Now, uh, the whiteboarding is actually stored inside of the, the WebEx Teams environment, so that's the dependency there. Uh, but one-way whiteboarding allows you to share the whiteboard in as the content stream into a call, whether it's a one-to-one -one call or a WebEx or something like that. Of course, you need a touch-enabled device to do whiteboarding in the first place, so WebEx board or Desk Pro or uh, even the DX80 uh, and DX70 will do this as well. Companion mode remains a cloud only feature. If you need companion mode, you do have to be cloud registered. Uh, I know a couple people have sort of hacked a way to make companion mode both for on-prem or for hybrid, but officially supported companion mode does have to be cloud registered uh, exclusively. Finally, personal mode is something that you have to get from the cloud as well. Uh, at least at this point, you have to be cloud registered 
to uh, take advantage of personal mode. So hopefully that's been helpful. There are a couple differences that you do need to be aware of, and the ones that I laid out here are uh, probably the most common that, that people ask about. Of course, if you have others that you're thinking of, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, would love to get your feedback on this. Again, this is, this is gonna be a moving target. There's a lot of development happening in this area. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully I have some updates for you in the not too distant future uh, as well. In the meantime, I wanna thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back sometime soon.